most difficult team we played against and player. Man City, definitely. I'm going to say Eden Hazard when he was at Chelsea. Yeah, he was a player. Yeah. And he's so strong, you know? He's strong, yeah. He's so strong. He reminds me of this player from... Um... If you say you... <laughs> if you say you, there you go. I already know. Yo, it's your boy H. Blurt, the source, and I'm joined today by my guy Chunks, but it's not about you today. It's about the guy in the middle, Mr. Johan Goodmanson. Today is pavement to pitch. We're here actually to, you know, see your journey. It's been an amazing journey. Um, but a lot of us want to know how it was for you in the beginning, being from Iceland um, and actually trying to become a football player. How was that for you? Yeah, obviously just a dream. Uh, when you come from a, a small island like Iceland, 320,000 people live there. So it's, it's a tiny, tiny country. <laughs> you made that? Yeah, I made that. So I, that's something to be proud of, definitely. Uh, so obviously, yeah, just a dream in the beginning. Premier League, biggest competition in the world, biggest one in Iceland. So yeah, always when I was young, I thought I wanna, I wanna play in that, and uh, to be able to do that for a few years now is, is definitely a blessing. When was the first time like you got scouted or people was like, this guy's got talent? So I was 13. My family moved to London actually. Uh, so I trained with uh, Chelsea at Fulham at that time, uh, and I did my, I had a big injury when I was 15 at Fulham. I did my ACL, so that was, uh, that was definitely a tough one. But it made me, it made me want it more. It made me definitely want it more. And just to be around that uh, culture, the professional culture, which you, which you don't have in Iceland, uh, definitely wanted to, yeah, I wanted to make it. So, uh, but then uh, that year comes around when scholarships are given out. Uh, I didn't get one. So yeah, it was a tough one, yeah, it's a tough one. So, so when you didn't get it, because yeah. I, I missed out, I, you know, I tore my um, um, ACL on my knee um, in training for United, this is uh, years ago. Um, I was in he's, the... He's, he's talking rubbish, by the way. <laughs> you know what it is? I'll be, I'll be real with you, I'll be honest, yeah? When I told him, and I just... <laughs> no, it is. When, when people usually tell, like, tell their ACLs as, as kids, I think that's kind of like the stop for them. That's when they go, you know what? I could have gone pro, but I, I told my ACL. That's like a big joke. Yeah. But you actually let, didn't let that deter you. You actually carried on. And how was that for you, as a, a, your mentor, at such a young age? Yeah, I think it just made me tougher mentally. Uh, but obviously some... Some people, they go different direction, but for me it was always just football, football, football. Uh, but then coming back from an ACL and then you get another disappointment, which is not to get the scholarship. Course, yeah. So the decision was, what, what am I going to do now? Uh, but the decision was to go back to Iceland and basically just start from a zero point. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody really knew me back in Iceland. They knew I was, I was with Chelsea, I was with Fulham at that time, but I didn't know if I could play any football. So it was, it was, it was, it was good for me just to start, start from the beginning. And then it took me about a year of playing in Iceland. And then I was brought to a, a Dutch team in Holland, Ace Alkmaar. Alkmaar yeah. So I only stayed back in Iceland for, for one year and then I got scouted. I played actually my first game for Iceland when I was 17, so that was that was quite young. So it was a it was a quick journey from not getting a scholarship at my ACL and then I was playing with Iceland. So that's that quick. Yeah. Talk, quick. talk us through playing for your country though, because I've never played for my country. The Euros is coming up, <laughs> but what was that like for you and your family? Um, with everything that you've gone through as well to actually play for Iceland at that age? It was a surreal moment uh, when the coach called me. I was I was 17. I was playing in the league back in Iceland. Uh, not a lot of players will play in Iceland at the international team, but me being young, coming through, they, they obviously wanted me to, to be involved. And uh, yeah, it was just proud for me, my family, uh, and just hard work, that's what it takes. Have you still got the kit? Uh, yeah, it was a baggy one, so every, <laughs> every, every, every player that was on there, except Ryder Good Johnson, okay. it was, so everybody got a short sleeve and XL. I was 17 years old. I was about short, 60 kgs. Oh my! Oh, I was God. bad. You looked horrible. <laughs> horrible. If we can get the picture, can we? Can we get the picture if there, if there is uh, one? It was horrible. But What's that I did. Like? I did good Johnson. He had, a, he had a nice, nice yeah, kid, long yeah, sleeve. Good, 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 good. You know, what, not just because you're from Iceland, but he is absolutely a legend. Being on the same team as him, a player that's played for Chelsea, Barcelona, arguably one of the best Icelandic players ever. No, he's our coach. Okay, do you know what I mean? The GOAT. Yeah. What was that like, you know, playing with him and now being, him being the coach of Iceland? I was playing in Iceland, he was playing, I think he was in Barcelona at that time. Oh my God. So it was like, uh, yeah, it was like when he came in, it was like, oof, he's a big star. So yeah, uh, yeah he was obviously the best to ever come from, from, uh, from Iceland, Chelsea won the Premier League there, won everything with Barcelona. So yeah, he's, he's a legend from Iceland, definitely. 
Me and Chunks was talking because you know Chunks is an Arsenal fan and you only battered him them twice the season. Sorry about that. Um, six points. Yeah, yeah, six points. You don't have to remind me. Man. Yeah. No you play in one of the teams that's probably the hardest team to, to um, you know, play against and you've got Sean Deitch as your manager. Um, how, how, how does that work, you know? How do you understand him? Took a few weeks and I got it. So <laughs> yeah? He's, he's fine, absolutely. He obviously, he's, he's a demanding coach. Uh, he demands a lot from the players, absolutely give everything on the pitch, which as a footballer you should do every time. Uh, yeah, he just gets a lot out of the team uh, and we obviously are a great group who get along together and that's that's a massive thing in football as well, uh, a group chemistry. So yeah, he obviously gets everything out of the team and, and we've been doing really well for the last couple of years. See, when Burnley comes up in the fixture list, it's like, that's one point or no points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly yeah, 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 what it yeah, yeah. is, isn't it? But how, do you, how do you deal with that stigma though? Because there's, there's always a stigma with Burnley, like it's hard to play them, boring, for whatever. How do you deal with that? Because it is, must be hard sometimes. If we would go out and maybe try to play a fancy football like Man City, it might just not work. Oh, Arsenal, yeah, well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that would maybe not just work for us. Uh, so we try to make it uncomfortable, especially for the big teams. I mean, uh, if you go toe to toe with them in football wise, I mean, they are, they're, they're probably going to beat you. So if you do something different, uh, something they don't like, uh, you, you definitely got a chance. And that's, that's the story about football. The underdog always got a chance. What, what's, what's, what's your life like outside of football? What's the things that you like? Um, because, you know, we saw in, um, I, think, I think it was the World Cup, uh, when Iceland did the... Yeah, Euros, it's that right? Oh, Euros, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Euros, yeah, the, the Viking club. Yeah, the Viking <laughs> stuff. And, and, and is, that, is that something that um, all Icelandic people are into, Vikings and stuff? Yeah, I started at the Euros. It was obviously a massive, massive thing, especially knocking England out of, uh, of the Euros. Wow. So I, I remember that so closely. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that was that was that was a big day, and uh, yeah, it's something that brought the nation together. Obviously, as I said before, it's a it's a tiny island. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was massive. Are, are the Northern Lights as nice as they say it is? Yeah, it is. They are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely something. But you, you can't guarantee you're going to see them. So you oh, could yeah. go there and be. Oh, what is it? Could go there and be disappointed not seeing them. I thought you just you, uh, you just see them. No, you gotta be lucky with with also. How many times have you seen the Northern Lights? Many times. Yeah, many times. Yeah, many yeah. Times. Uh, you can't be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Northern Lights. Yeah, yeah. Right, really. yeah. yeah. So Chunks, you know, he's, uh, he's into music and stuff. You know, he's a singer. Could you just say a little note for them? They say life is great. Amazing. Um, what kind of music are you into? I like, obviously, Drake and stuff like that. Uh, OK. Yeah. Uh, yo, I had a little Drake, you know? I went, I went to his concert in Manchester. Uh, he's brilliant live. Yeah. I actually went to con his concert as well when I was playing in Holland, and it was, uh, it was when he was getting big. Wait, there? What year was this? Uh, I'm not quite sure. 2000 and... Stop making it. You weren't there, bro. No, you probably weren't there. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying 2000... You were the Wait, wait. Yeah, Turn 10. So we're talking, thank me later. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been a fan of this for yeah. time. Yeah, so... I was right. Thank me later, right? You see, look, I told you. I was there as well, in spirit. And then I'm quite into Icelandic music. Uh, Kaleo is a band that's it's a really nice band. A bit more of a rock. Uh, so I'm, I'm about everywhere, to be honest. But uh, Do you play any instruments? I used to play guitar, but that was a long time ago when I was younger. What, when you were serenading in Iceland in the Northern Lights? <laughs> <laughs>We've um, obviously all been, you know, in a global pandemic. Um, it's not been easy for all of us, but how has it been for you, you know, navigating through and trying to, you know, live normally? Well, the first lockdown, there was no football, so I was staying at home. Uh, I got a family, so I was staying with my, I had a four-year-old at that time. I got two kids now, actually, so. Oh, congratulations, yeah, thank you. I'm a father too, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was nice to spend time with family, but then it gets longer and longer and you want to start going to work, you want to start going to restaurants and stuff like, just do normal things, which has not been a, yeah, we've not been able to do for a long time. I can't complain when we started to go back to work, at least that some got, got us going, playing football, obviously the fans get them watching it on telly, so we, we got some entertainment back to the people. Uh, but it's been it's been it's been tough for everybody. Uh, but I can't complain. I mean, I'm playing in the Premier League. There are there are people who got it much worse than than I do and we do. So uh, yeah. Why are you uh, pointing me? No, because, <laughs> the ACL, remember when you were 15? No, but it was ACL in the knee. Yeah, though. that's what I'm trying to say. That's why, because obviously that's your worst off. He yeah. plays in the Premier League. You tried to play in the Premier League. Yeah, and, and he yeah tried to. But yeah. at least you know, at least my, my good friend Johan is a Premier League player. Yeah, I wouldn't say good friend. I'd say no. We we know each other. We're yeah. fathers. <laughs> 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 well, okay, Johan. Well, you know what, Johan. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's always Harry, isn't it? It's always Harry. So, so what's next for you then, Johan? Um, what's your what's your views on pre-season? What, what are you changing about your, your your game for the next season? Trying to be more established Premier League player. I mean, I've, now it's our fifth, my fifth season in the league. Uh, at the moment, we are still fighting in the league to yeah. stay in stay in the league, which is it's in our hands. So that's that's a good thing. At least uh, next season, uh, just got to get better every time. I mean, some people say when you get older as a footballer, you can't really involved as a footballer but I don't really agree with that. I think you can always always get better and that's what you strive for every day when you go to training is to give it your all and uh, yeah just try to get better. Quick question, most difficult team you played against and player? Man City definitely as they just they just ball keep the but they just yeah, keep yeah. the ball and just get don't, they don't get bored of the keeping the ball so that's that's the one team I think uh, yeah. it's extremely extremely tough player. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say I'm going to say Eden Hazard when he was at Chelsea. Yeah, he was a wow. player. Yeah. He was not right. No, nah, yeah. he was so just scary on yeah, that left. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. God. He just, he just couldn't, no, he he just couldn't, couldn't get the ball off him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure there was glue on the shoes. And he's so strong, you know? He's strong, yeah. He's so strong. He reminds me of this player from... Um... If you say you... <laughs> if you say you, there you go. I already know. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's been Pavement Fit. Good one, um, said. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified when we upload. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it, man. It's been a pleasure. But really, we are friends, though. This is... This is... It's a... Acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>